Thanks for staying with us. Now, the, the procedures, techniques, and principles of cosmetic surgery are entirely focused on enhancing a patient's appearance. Improving aesthetics appeal, regularity, and um, proportion are the key goals for cosmetic surgery. Now, since cosmetic procedures treat areas that function properly, cosmetic surgery is designated as elective. Now, since this, um, since this clearly focuses on appearance and not health reasons, why is there a rise in cosmetic surgery in Nigeria? That's the question. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Way Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. Now, Lamy, I was going to ask um, because um, why this is coming up as a top, um, as a subject of conversation. We've in recent times we've heard of so many things going on all over social media, body enhancement and gone wrong and people dying on the surgical bed. You know, some men trying to take off their belly fat and they die on you know on the on the surgical bed and all of that. So and I'm, I'm I am wondering, um, this is not a life and death sentence, right? Is this coming off of the back of laziness that I cannot work out, or why do we have such a huge a number of people. In fact, I jokingly said to someone one day, I said, see, if you come to Lekki, you can't see a shapeless girl. Everybody has an hourglass shape in Lekki. You cannot see anybody that is flat-chested or no bum or no hips or whatever. And why is that? Because many years ago, or just a few years ago, this is just a recent development in Nigeria. A few okay. years ago, everybody was content with their looks. Okay. So I where is this coming from? Okay, and um, how would attribute the reason, particularly to um, social media? Okay. And um, particularly because of all these influencers, hmm. you know, there, there's no more, at a point when you have it done, you cover it, but now you flaunt it. So with the rise of, you know, influencers coming out to talk about it, and there's this particular lady who I'm not going to mention her name, I think almost immediately when she heard it, it just... Um, you just caught, you know, fire. So for me, and you were thinking that because it's elective, why are people doing it? Or, I think it borders one on mental state and confidence, self-esteem. So if you feel that because you, some people may even attribute their own happiness in their relationship. To their look. No, to their look. I agree. Do you understand? I 100% agree with that too. Yeah. Ah. I, I can get depressed when I, when I don't like what I'm seeing in the mirror. So, that is a mental state. Yeah, but... I'm saying that why do I need to opt for something that is a 50-50 chance for me to stay I don't think, I don't agree with you that it's a 50-50 oh, chance. Oh, really? Okay, well, we'll bring our doctor yeah. in later. But tell me, let me hear your, 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 your thoughts on the rise in cosmetic surgery in Nigeria. So I think that a lot of it has to do with psychology as a person, right? And again, I'm an advocate for leave and let me leave. Um, I don't want to do it. does not mean... If you want to do it, it's not okay. I mean, an adult, um, it's choices. Just be ready to live with the consequences. I mean, yeah. you can decide to just wake up to change the color of your hair because you want it to look a certain way. Then you can change your body. But to agree um, with Olamide, I think the media and the society has a role to play here. Because you find that body types, some curves in some places, um, a certain skin tone is being celebrated to be hot. And then you find celebrities having babies and they come out in six weeks to, you know, post their, you know, post baby book hmm. and the tummy is already fat. And then he leaves another woman who had a baby two months before, you know, kind of depressed and everything. So I think a lot of it has to do with your psychology. Um, all of the stuff we're seeing on the internet, on social me uh, media, in the magazine, it's fueling insecurities, hmm. right? So, so that's making people have issues with, um, you know, self-esteem, self-confidence. And if you look at it, let buy it. Hmm, absolutely. Quickly, I was going to say that now the, the society promotes perfection. Hmm. So it's part of the reason. Well, is there any such thing as even, even the <clears throat> doctors will tell you that it's not going to be a perfect job? It, it will be near perfect. At least it will be better than what they had before. Really? Yeah. All right, so let me bring in our doctor. Dr. Hakim Adifo Roche is an American and Canadian trained cosmetic surgeon with a specialty in liposuction and fat transfer. 
He is the medical director at Kleinberg Medical Center, and he is here to tell us why there's a huge demand for cosmetic surgery in Nigeria and why it's eating all our money. <laughs> all right, so thanks for joining us, Dr. Anifo Oshie. I'm happy to be here. Good evening, ladies. Good, Good evening. evening, everybody. Good, Good evening, evening, doctor. You see, Good evening. You know, no. your, thanks, your... Thanks for having me on. I, I think you guys have answered that. No, question, no, we've not. I've not asked you the question yet, to Doctor Anifoshe. I've been listening to you, so I know what you guys were talking about. <laughs> but you seem to be the shining star right now in Nigeria. You and your um, fellow people in the same line of cosmetic surgery. Why is this so? Well, I think like uh, one of the uh, uncle stated earlier, uh, it has to do with social media. And really, compared to the rest of the world, we're sort of behind. Very. You have to remember Nigeria as a whole is a conservative. Our culture is very conservative. So we are not at par with our, let's say, Americans, even in, in, in uh, Europeans. We're not at par with them uh, in terms of it. And we still need to increase awareness. Um, the trouble uh, we're, we're having in the field is because of lack of Such proper awareness about what uh, cosmetic surgery is all about. Mm. Absolutely. So if you were to judge uh, um, um, the recent happenings all over Nigeria, you know, would you attribute it to a point of esteem or we have gone lazy? I know it's your field. You are supposed to be making money. But do you think this look do people actually have the right to say you know what i don't like what i'm seeing and i want to alter it you know or they should just probably work out or exercise or something do they have that that moral grounds are there people that with workout and everything they might not achieve the kind of look that they want yes so after so with cosmetic cut surgery comes in after you have attempted everything else so when you come in for a consultation we will tell you the risk the benefits, the alternatives, which includes do nothing. Mm. Okay, we discuss that with you. Okay, and then the person now makes a choice to either go forward with the procedure or not. Okay. Personally, in Nigeria, people don't even know the difference between liposuction and weight loss. You guys have defined plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery, and I'm happy about the way you've defined it, but. Talking, you know, coming to my office and asking me to do liposuction of your arm, your thigh, your belly. To me, the first thing that comes to my head is, have you thought about weight loss? And that's why in our practice, we actually have a department of weight loss. Mm -hmm. um, I, always, I go, it's not everybody that requires Going under the night. liposurgery. Mm. Yeah, it's not everybody. So I agree with you. However, there are some people with with which after they worked out, they've gone to the gym, and they still have that little pouch. That's exactly what liposuction is for, to remove that. And some of it, sometimes, you see the Christian mother arm is inherited. Yeah. If you notice, most people that have it, their parents have it as well. It is not, no matter how much weight they lose, they can't lose that Christian mother arm. Mm. They need surgery for that, mm. you know. So I, I don't think we should be... Uh, blaming people that are taking, you know, the route of uh, cosmetic surgery. Okay, without doctor. Without doing a proper, insightful look at it from different angles. Okay, doctor, my, my, I, I'll be starting from the angle of certification. I'm not against yes. people electing to have cosmetic surgery. I'm just for the risk. How do okay. you train to become a certified cosmetic surgeon? All right. So... Anyone that has gone through medical school and has done housemanship and um, residency. So after medical school, you do something called residency. Uh, you can either do residency in plastic surgery or gynecology or general surgery. Or in my own case, I'm a general practitioner. After you have done that, then you, if you elect to do cosmetic surgery, you now need to go and train for that on your own. In Nigeria, we don't have that accessible to us. Most of the people that practice it in Nigeria had to leave Nigeria to go get that training. The plastic surgery uh, residency they have in Nigeria does not do rhinoplasty 
rhinoplasty and they don't do uh, uh, they don't do anything beyond uh, you know bone care we are very good with bone care uh, hand surgery you know someone has car crash you know trauma and things like that so the plastic surgeons that are practicing cosmetic surgery have gone abroad to get this extra training mm. so in terms of nigeria i guess when you go to talk to the doctor you ask them okay where did you get your training you know um can i see evidence of your training you can go online and, and search and um, you know and like in any other specialty in medicine um there's always risk risk of death uh, it's not unusual it's just that in nigeria um you know based on our culture of being conservative someone dies from cosmetic surgery ah, that man should have just stayed in his household mm -hmm. you know should have done exercise why did you go and do surgery and then lose his life you know um unfortunately it just happens sometimes you know but i'm still going to pass it on the patient needs to be the one uh to make that decision for themselves the doctor will advise the doctor's job is to do the job but at the end of it it's still an elective procedure so you choose who you want to do your procedures all right so right tell now me, tell me. okay go ahead go ahead sorry go ahead tell me are you there yes i'm here so uh thank you dr anifoshe i noticed you noted that Nigeria is essentially behind the curve like we're kind of slow in catching up with the rest of the world and if you know about nigerians right we like to do things to the extreme mm -hmm. like and it's that extremity that is the problem, okay? I also like that you noted that um, you're very ethical about what you do. So not everybody that comes to you for cosmetic surgery, because um, I mean, if you look at the financial implication to you, you should be happy to say, yes, come on board, come on board, come on board, right? But you, you know, if I, I hear you, um, you're saying that sometimes um, you advise them to try big loss and all of that. Now, my question is, even though there's no body, uh, body or you know, professional body that certifies cosmetic uh, surgeons in Nigeria, is there a kind of way that we can just check to be sure that somebody is qualified? I'm speaking from um, a position of someone that has been following a particular story uh, on social media. Um, and I find that a lot of women have gone through serious health risks, botched bodies organ damage, et cetera, lots of that here in Nigeria. So are we sure somebody is regulating this? Are we sure that people are actually qualified? Are we sure that people are doing the right thing? Are people are just waiting on the to die in a certain Okay, thank you for that question. Um, you have to remember that anyone that has gone through university and gone through the process of becoming a medical doctor is not moi moi. Uh, the person you're talking about um, is a medical doctor. Um, she went to medical school. She's trained as a medical doctor. Now, and she's, um, I'm, I, I'll tell you for sure, I'm not familiar with her training okay i actually know her personally but i don't know where she did her training from you know uh they they if you come to my office all my certificates are clearly displayed, displaced in, uh displayed in my uh in, the, in my waiting area mm -hmm. uh those are the kind of things you would you know if you, if you come into the office you can snap it and then google it and call them i think um that's, I mean, the information now, these days are, are, you know, on our phones. You could do a quick search. But the MDCN, the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, regulates all of us. If they take our license, then we can practice. Mm. So um, I think that's a, a, a way the, uh, to go for now. In the nearest future, we are forming a cosmetic association. In that association, our, our goal is to admit doctors that are certified and have facilities that can uh, take care of patients appropriately. Not, you know, um, we would verify where you did your training. 
Uh, we would verify uh, if you are licensed by the state, uh, Lagos State, to have a facility. We would verify the last time you did a continuing medical education, uh, because those are the kind of things that is required. Uh, uh, a doctor that finishes residency today is is looked in the same way as someone that has 20 years of experience. So it is now left upon the doctor to know his limits. That sometimes I need the help of a plastic surgeon. When I need that help, I would call my plastic surgeon and say, listen, I have a case here that is beyond me. Is there a way we can work together on this? If not, I'm happy to refer the patients to you. And that's how I've practiced since I've been in Nigeria. I came to Nigeria in 2015. Uh, we started doing liposurgery in 2016. Um, and um, we focus our practice mainly on liposuction. We don't do things plastic surgeons do. Plastic surgeons are trained to do more complicated procedures. So it's not left to you if you want to go to the guy that does liposuction all the time, or you go to the plastic surgeon that does burns, does breast lifts, does, does everything, do you know? So um, Nigerians should just watch out and, and, you know, sometimes don't do everything at once. One of my advice, like you say, Nigerians like to do extremes of everything. Sometimes they come in, they want to have tummy tuck done, breast done, everything done in one time. I go, no, let's do your tummy this time. Your body can't In three months time, it. you can come back and do your arms. Absolutely. You know, sometimes they get mad at me and go to my competitors and that's okay. <laughs> I'd rather know that, I, you know, I'm in my house on a Saturday night watching TV and I don't have anything hanging over my head. <laughs> All right, so Dr. Nifo, we're going to go on a break shortly, um, but I just wanted to brew on some things. Uh, I want okay. you to brew on some things. We'll go on a break, then we'll come back, you'll answer it. Because whether we like it or not, cosmetic surgery is here to stay. I was saying to my, no. my, 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 my colleagues here, I said, see, in Lekki, there's no shapeless girl. I, I, I mean, I've been to clubs. I've seen everybody wants that hourglass, that perfect look and all of that. So because cosmetic surgery is here to stay, whether we like it or not, we have to know what we need to know. If at all you want to opt for it, because we can't stop people... From, um, from changing the way they look if they don't like it. So um, I want you to brew on what are the things that we need to begin to ask, the right questions we're supposed to ask the doctors, the right things we're supposed to know when we get to into any, any uh, medical facility so we know whether we are in the right place and we can avoid that, um, I mean, needless death. But we'll go on a short break. When we return, you'll be able to speak to that question. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 